Let's talk about the dual colored lands that are less than $1 right now. Starting with Azorius. We have Glacial Floodplain going for 13 cents. It's a snow land that's a plains and an island. When it enters the battlefield, it does enter tapped. But what's great about this card is that it's a plains island, so we can find ways to search for this specific card. So this can be better than a basic land in some situations. Skycloud Expanse. This is what I call the Signet Lands. Going for 14 cents. Instead of it being on an artifact, we have it on a land. And what's great is that it enters on tapped. Next is Port Town. When this enters the battlefield, we can reveal a Plains or an Islands from our hand. If you don't, this does enter the battlefield tapped, going for 16 cents. Prairie Stream, another great card. It's a Plains Island. When it enters the battlefield, if you control two or more basic lands, this is going to enter untapped. Temple of Enlightenment, when this enters the battlefield, it does enter tapped, but we get to scry one as well. And then we also have Azoria Signet, going for 36 cents right now, instead of it being on Skycloud Expanse, now on this artifact. Moving on to Demir, so in blue and black, we have Dark Water, Catacombs. Combs. We have the Signet Land here, enters untapped for 22 cents. Choked Estuary, we can reveal an island or a swamp when this enters the battlefield. If we do, it enters untapped. Tainted Isle, so this can tap for a colorless or a blue or black if we control a swamp. I really like this one because if we need the colorless for a specific card, this will cover it, but also when we later control a swamp, even if this is the second land we play and our first turn was a swamp, it's like we have a dual land. Temple of Deceit enters the battlefield tapped, and also when it enters the battlefield, we get to scry one. There's also Demir Signet going for 44 cents. We can pay one tap and get a blue and a black mana. Sunken Hollow, it's an island swamp, enters the battlefield tapped unless we control two or more basic lands. This is going to be great for any Demir deck that we have. Next is Red and Black, so Rakdos. We have Shadow Blood Ridge, this is the Signet Land. We can pay one, tap it, and we get a black and red. Foreboding Ruins, we can reveal a swamp or a mountain, and if we do, this enters the battlefield untapped. Tainted Peak, we can tap for a colorless, or if we control a swamp, we get that black or red mana. Smolder Marsh. This is a swamp mountain. When it enters the battlefield, it's going to enter tapped unless we control two or more basic lands. There's Rakdos Signet going for 62 cents right now. And then there's Temple of Malice. It enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, we can also scry one. Going for 90 cents. Next is Gruul. So red and green. We have Highland Forest. This is a mountain forest. Also a snow land. And it's going to enter the battlefield tapped. Mossfire Valley. Another Signet land for 13 cents. There's Game Trail. We can reveal a mountain or forest. If we do, it enters untapped. Temple of Abandon. It enters tapped and we can scry one. There's also Gruel Signet. Going for 45 cents, we can pay one, tap it, get a red and a green. We have Cinder Glade. It's a mountain forest. When it enters the battlefield, it's going to be tapped unless we control two or more basics. And then we have Rockfall Veil. Vale. So this is actually a dollar and 31 cents right now, but I'm throwing it in here anyways because it's that good. When this enters the battlefield, it's going to be tapped unless we control two or more other lands. So whether it's a basic or a command tower, that will apply to this card. And so this is really good, especially for the price right now. Let's move on to Selesnia. So white and green, we have Sungrass Prairie, which is the Signet Land for 16 cents. There's Fortified Village. We can reveal a forest or a plains. If we do, this enters untapped. Cross and Verge. This enters the battlefield tapped and we can later tap it for a colorless mana. But most importantly, we can pay to tap it, sacrifice it, and search our library for a forest and a plains card, put them onto the battlefield tapped. And what's very powerful about this is that we can actually grab cards that have forest or plains in the type tap text box. So the cards I've mentioned before, such as Cinderglade, is a mountain forest. This would apply to Cross and Verge. This is a forest. As long as it's in the colors of our deck, we could grab this. Or speaking of, Arctic Treeline. This is a forest plains. We can grab this with Cross and Verge. It just has to be one of them, a forest or a plains. And this will enter the battlefield tapped. There's also Canopy Vista, which is a forest plains. When it enters the battlefield, it's going to become tapped unless we control two or more basic lands. And then there's Temple of Plenty. It enters the battlefield tapped and we get to scry one. Next is Orzhov. This is white and black. We have Tainted Field. We can tap for a colorless or if we control a swamp, we can tap for white or black. And what's great about this is this is only eight cents. Temple of Silence enters the battlefield tapped and when it enters the battlefield, we get to scry one. There's Orzhov Signet going for 16 cents. We can pay one, get a white and a black when we tap it. Caves of Kolos. We can tap it for a colorless or we can tap it for white or black and it's going to deal us one damage. This is going to be more reliable than Tainted Field because we have to control a swamp. This will just always deal us one damage if we want the colored mana. Talisman of Hierarchy. Same thing as Caves of Corlos, except it's now an artifact. We can tap for a colorless or get a white or black mana, and it's going to deal us one damage. Concealed Courtyard. Another card over one dollar, but again, I have a great excuse why it's on this list. When it enters the battlefield, it's going to become tapped unless we control two or fewer lands, which is as if I'm playing a dual land, turn one or turn two, and I can then tap it for white or black mana. Very powerful stuff. Next is a very 
very short list, and that's Is It for blue and a red. We have Temple of Epiphany, it enters tapped, and we get to scry one. We have Isaac Signet, we can pay one, tap it, get a blue and a red for 31 cents. And then we have Talisman of Creativity for 88 cents. We can tap it for a colorless or a blue or red, but it's going to deal us one damage. The next one is Golgari, so this is green and black. We have Temple of Malady, it enters the battlefield tapped, and we get to scry one for 24 cents. There's Woodland Chasm, this is a swamp forest, it enters the battlefield tapped for 70 cents. There's Tainted Wood, if we control a swamp we get a black or green mana, but we're always going to get that colorless if we need it. There's Lanoir Waste, we can tap it for a colorless or a black or green mana, but this will deal one damage to us. Next is another short list, and that's Boros. This is red and white. We have Rustvale Bridge. This is an artifact land that when it enters the battlefield, it's going to enter tapped. It's also indestructible, and it can tap for red or white. Temple of Triumph, it's going to enter the battlefield tapped, and we get to scry one for 28 cents. Boros Signet, for 44 cents, we can pay one, tap it, and get a red and white mana. Next is Simic, and this is Simic Signet. For 25 cents, we can pay one, tap it, and get a green and blue mana. Temple of Mystery, it's going to enter the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, we get to scry one. Yavimaya Coast, we can tap it for a colorless, or if we need that green or blue mana, it's going to deal us one damage. Talisman of Curiosity for 62 cents, same thing as Yavimaya Coast, just now an artifact. We can tap it for colorless, or if we need the green or blue mana, it deals one damage to us. Rhymewood Falls, this is a forest island, it's also a snow land. When it enters the battlefield, it's going to enter tapped. Next is Vine Glimmer Snarl. When it enters the battlefield, we can reveal a forest or an island card from our hand. If you don't, this enters the battlefield tapped. The last category I want to talk about is the Any Color, and we have Command Tower and Exotic Orchard. Command Tower goes in any commander deck as long as we're looking for color. Exotic Orchard is great because it's now relying on what our opponents are playing, so whatever lands our opponents could produce for mana, we now get access to that, and since there's usually three opponents when we play this, it's likely that we can have all five of mana available on this card. There's also Arcane Signet and Mindstone. Arcane Signet gets us any color of mana that's in our commander's color identity, so like a command tower, but for two mana. And Mindstone is a great mana rock that only costs 26 cents right now. We can tap it for a colorless, or we can pay one, tap it, sacrifice it to draw a card. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one right here. I talk about cheap lands that are $5 or less. Thank you to the patrons who help support this show. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.